during the fire, we had a shutdown of Drake Unit 7, and we had damage to one of the bearings. What's behind me here is the uh, Unit 7 turbine. We know that this unit coasted down with no oil, hence it took out the bearings, the seals, which is what caused us to uh, know that we needed to completely disassemble it to do a full inspection. When we had the fire, we had some damage to our crane, and we needed to have the ability to remove those that cover off of Drake 7. We're talking 52,000 pounds for some of the covers, uh, 73,000 pounds is what the, the generator field actually weighs. We lifted up this whole rotor and put it right into a stand. Now it facilitates inspection and uh, determination of what the best repair methodology is. Unit 7 um, is about 50% of this plant. It is our second lowest cost provider of electricity in our system. And so it was critical to get this unit back online. Today, we're ending 14 weeks after the fire. What we're seeing right now is the installation of the Drake 7 generator rotor. The rotor weighs 73,000 pounds. Right now, we're inserting that generator rotor. We go probably an eighth of an inch, maybe a half an inch at a time. They're going to be extremely methodical and careful to make sure that uh, we know we're doing it right. After that generator rotor is installed, they'll be installing the hydrogen seals, the oil seals. They'll do an alignment with their steam turbine shaft, make sure that thing is rotating perfectly aligned. And we go through a whole series of functional tests to make sure that this unit is ready to go when we start back up. Unit 7 was down for 16 weeks and we brought it back to life and it is now providing power. We're on cloud nine. We're on the mountaintop and it's working. It's steady state, everything's stable, and it's working right. Job well done by all hands. You know, we had a lot of anticipation um, to bring us to this day. Now, uh, this Martin Drake Power Plant is producing uh, more megawatts, uh, less dependency on uh, other sources to provide power for, uh, for this community. So uh, we can, uh, this power plant can do what it was meant to do, which is produce cheap electric for this city. That is a, a contribution by the Drake staff, the entire Colorado Springs utilities all teaming together to forge ahead and provide our rate pairs with low cost energy. Martin Drake really provides a, a, a wonderful service in my mind to the customer. We have been extremely uh, dependable over the years. I think if you look at our track record, so we are consistently looking for cutting costs on the budget. We are responsive to and, and answer to the rate payers because we are rate payers also. When this plant went down, we had to go out and buy power to the, the tune of about $3 million a month. People's rates went up. Drake 6 was online and we reduced that amount of the increase. Drake 7 is online, we're going to reduce that amount of the increase. And for rate payers, that builds trust. They have a utility that we all have ownership in. Here's a group of employees at a power plant forging ahead for a common goal, and we succeeded.